determine the perimeter and area of the given triangle. Let's first determine the perimeter, where the perimeter is the distance around the outside of the triangle. So if we think of walking around the triangle, the perimeter is equal to eight and one third inches plus eight and one half inches plus two and five six inches. So again, the perimeter P is equal to eight and one third inches plus eight and one half inches plus two and five six inches. And now let's determine the sum vertically. We have eight and one third plus eight and one half plus two and five six. Before we can add, we need to obtain a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator, which will be the least common multiple of three, two, and six, which is six. We need to write one third and one half as the equivalent fractions with the denominator of six. Which means for one third, we multiply the numerator and denominator by two, since three times two is six. And for one half, we multiply the numerator and denominator by three, since two times three is six. So now we have eight and one third is equivalent to eight and two six. Eight and one half is equivalent to eight and three six. And we keep two and five six the same. Now that we have a common denominator we can add, looking at the fractions, two six plus three six is five six, and five six plus five six is ten six. And then we have eight plus eight plus two, which is eighteen. Now we're still not done here. Ten six is an improper fraction, and it can also be simplified. Notice ten and six share a common factor of two. So to simplify this, we divide the numerator and denominator by two. This gives us eighteen and five thirds, but five thirds is an improper fraction, and therefore we can't leave it in this form. We need to convert five thirds to a mixed number, and then add it to eighteen. To convert five thirds to a mixed number, we divide five by three. There's one three and five. One times three is three. We subtract the differences two. The quotient is one and two thirds, which means eighteen and five thirds is equal to eighteen plus one and two thirds, which is equal to nineteen and two thirds. And therefore, the perimeter is nineteen and two thirds inches. Notice how the directions do tell us to give the answer as a proper fraction or mixed number in simplified form, which we have now done. We have a mixed number in simplified form. And now let's work on determining the area. The area of a triangle is equal to one half base times height. For the given triangle, the base is two and five six inches, and the height is seven inches. And therefore, the area of the triangle is equal to one half times the base of two and five six inches times the height of seven inches. Now to determine the product, we first need to write two and five six as an improper fraction. So the area is equal to one half times, to convert two and five six to an improper fraction, the denominator remains six and the numerator is going to be six times two plus five. Six times two is twelve. Twelve plus five is seventeen. Two and five, six is equal to seventeen, six. And then we have times seven. Let's write seven as a fraction with a denominator of one. And now before multiplying, we want to simplify out any common factors other than one between the numerators and denominators. In this case, there is no common factor other than one, and therefore we multiply the numerators and denominators. Seventeen times seven is equal to 119. Two times six is equal to twelve. The area as a improper fraction is one hundred nineteen twelfths square inches. As a proper fraction or mixed number, so now we need to convert one hundred nineteen twelfths to a mixed number. To do this, we divide one hundred nineteen by twelve. And there are nine twelves in one hundred nineteen. Nine times twelve is one hundred eight. We subtract. The difference is eleven and therefore the quotient is nine and eleven twelfths. And therefore the area is equal to nine and eleven twelfths square inches. And let's check this on the graphing calculator. 
let's enter this product here. We have one half or one divided by two times 17 divided by six and then just times seven. Enter. To check the improper fraction, we press math, enter, enter, which does verify the result. To check the mixed number, we need to go back to the decimal form. So let's enter 119 divided by 12, enter. Notice how nine is the whole number. To check the 11 twelfths, we need to subtract nine, which leaves the decimal, and then convert this decimal to a fraction, which should be 11 twelfths. So we press math, enter, enter, which does give us 11 twelfths, verifying the area is correct. I hope you found this helpful.